Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you all about orders in OpenCart. Uh, now when you first log into OpenCart's administration area you'll see the dashboard here and as you can see it tells you how many orders you have, total sales, uh, a few different other things. If you scroll down here you can see your latest orders um, however, if you open up the menu here, uh, you've got a menu here that you can hover over and see things, or you, you can open it up like that. If you go down to sales, you can click on orders, and now you can actually sort through the orders. You can search through them and different things, uh, search through them by date and all that other stuff. Um, I've got some sample orders here. This is just a demo account. I've got some sample orders in this. Now you see that there are three options here to do with each order. I would recommend not using the delete um, feature here. Uh, mostly just because, unless it's just a, a test order, uh, you don't really need to delete it. You can just change the status of it. If it's a fraud order or something like that, or um, you know some reason that you don't want the order um, in there, uh, I would actually recommend just changing the status. So if it was like fraud, I would mark it as fraud. That way, you have the information later if you need to reference it again. Um, but you know, if it's a test order or something like that then you can go ahead and delete it. Now let me show you um, a few of the things here with the view and the edit uh, option. So we'll click on view first you can see that there's four tabs across the top. Uh, order details this kind of gives you uh, a little bit more information than what you, what you really need like uh, what browser they're using, the language that's accepted by their browser, the added, the modified, uh, their IP address, the order status is pending, um, and you can change um, you can change order statuses in the the systems over here. Um, you can add additional statuses and things like that if you want to do that. Um, and let's see. So you've also got the generate. So if, if somebody says they need an invoice, then you can have it generate an invoice for them. Uh, some companies need invoices to to be able to go off of. So you know it's good to be able to just uh, generate one of those. But it it doesn't come standard generated. So uh, we go into payment details, and here we can see uh, name, address, all that other fun information, and the payment method here. And then, um, you know, if this was a credit card, it would still just say credit card. It wouldn't tell you the credit card number. Uh, Open Card doesn't by by default store that information here. Um, you also have products, so you can see what they ordered. And then you have the uh, history, and the history, if uh, it was uh, through like authorized.net through a credit card, uh, it would show you in the history that it was uh, authorized, it would give you the authorization number and things like that. From here, uh, you can change the order status. You can say, um, you know, say you want to mark this one as shipped, you can just go down there, say it's shipped, and then you can type in uh, the shipping number. And uh, this, since I notified, marked that uh, it's to notify the client, it, and I hit uh, update, it's actually going to send the client an email saying your order has been changed to shipped. And you'd probably want to put something like here, uh, not just a number, maybe tracking info, something like that, maybe a little message to your client. And that, uh, that comment is going to be sent to the client when you save it. I'm not going to send it to the client because the email address was bogus, so I'll go ahead and update it now. And you can see that it puts it automatically right here. So that's basically uh, viewing the order. Now let's go back to orders and we will edit the order. So you can see it's pretty much just the same thing. It just gives us the op option to be able to go in and change things around. You can see that uh, if, as I hover over these tabs, they are not clickable. Um, it wants me to go through them one by one in the right order. And so I can click continue now. And it takes me over to the products. So once everything has been, um, you know, I go, went through and made sure everything was correct there, uh, then I can click through and go over here. Um, I can remove the products if I want. Um, I can also add additional products. Um, and anyway, so we'll go ahead and continue. Um, here's their, their payment information, just like on the view screen. And go to, um, the only thing that I, I see that is different here is we don't have um, the method of payment on here. And um, if the customer is registered, you can actually, uh, and they actually have, uh, they've registered with your company, so they have a username, password, and all that. Um, they can store their bill to and their ship to address, and then you can actually switch between them here as well. So I'm going to click continue. And from here we can see uh, the ship method, uh, the payment method is here. Um, we can add coupon vouchers, rewards, or we can change the order status here. Um, if you're just going to go in and change the order status, you should use the view, of course, because we had to go from page
page to page just to get into here. So you can see it is more beneficial to go into uh, the view screen rather than the edit screen just to go in and do a few simple things. Um, however, the reason it does go through this process is there is uh, uh, validation that happens in each of these steps. And so as it gets down to here, um, it's going to validate whether or not, for example, if you said that only uh, people in your state can do cash on delivery, um, then once you get to this point, it's going to, you know, if you change the address to out of your state, then it's going to remove the option for cash on delivery. So um, it does some validation and takes you through step by step. The old open cart, uh, this is 2.0, the old one, 1 1.5.6 or whatever it was, um, didn't do that. And it would kind of throw some things off when uh, you went in to go change it. It would tell you to have, you'd have to go back and do some different things. So it was kind of a mess. So I kind of do like that they are taking you through step by step and they're not letting you just click on a tab and change the things in there uh, because this allows the, val the validation to happen in the sequence that it's supposed to happen. So basically that is your order process. Um, that's that's you know what you see when you go into your orders. Um, of course there's going to be some different things depending on the plugins that you have and the options that you have as far as payments and things like that. Um, but that's basically all there is to uh, an order in open cart.